Hello, everyone. We're at the University of New South Wales. I'm Norman Wahlberger. And we're looking at question nine from chapter one of the uh, math 1131 linear algebra notes. So this is a question that uh, gives us some practice in doing some arithmetic with vectors in two dimensions and in three dimensions and in terms of sort of an alternate formation using canonical uh, basis vectors. It's going to give us a chance to uh, also draw some diagrams because I like to illustrate what's going on when we're taking these linear combinations. So you see that it has an algebraic aspect, but there's also a geometrical or physical aspect which uh, complements the algebraic one. All right, so let's have a look at the first question. We're uh, talking about vectors u, v, and w, and I should put little arrows over the, the vectors. If I forget to do that, I hope you'll put them in yourselves. Okay, so we've got these three vectors. The vector u is 2, 3. The vector v is minus 1, 2. The vector w is minus 1, 1. And we're asked to compute this particular combination of vectors, u plus 2v minus 3w if possible. Okay, so let's start by uh, drawing a picture. So let me draw it freehand here. So here is x, y plane. And uh, let's uh, put some scale into things so we know where we are. So perhaps there's 1. And that'll be 2, 3, minus 1, minus 2, and so on. And in the y direction, 1, 2, 3, minus 1, minus 2. Okay, so where are these vectors? Just to give us a visual sense of where we are. The vector u, which is the vector 2, 3, is 2 over in this direction, 3 over in that direction, so it's going up to that point there. So there is the vector u. And the vector v is minus 1, 2. So there it is right there. And how about the vector w? That's minus 1, 1. So they're right here. There's w. OK. So let's uh, first work out this uh, expression u plus 2v minus 3w uh, directly. So u is 2, 3. And we're asked to take 2 times v. v is minus 1, 2. And then subtract 3 times w, which is minus 1, 1. OK, and how do we do linear combination like this? Well, we do everything component-wise. We just look at the first components separately and the second components separately. So the first component, there's a 2 here, a plus 2 times minus 1 for a total of minus 2 and a minus 3 times minus 1 for a total of plus 3. So altogether, that first component has a 2, minus 2, plus 3, which is altogether 3. And the second component, there's a 3 here, a plus 4, and a minus 3 for a total of 4. So there's the required result. It's the vector 3, 4 which would be, there's three fours up about there, so perhaps around here. So if we call whatever this vector is, let me put a dotted layer like that, that is the vector that's uh, this combination. Now let's just say a little bit about geometrical significance. Geometrically, what are we doing when we're taking a linear combination like this? Well, we're taking this vector u, and we're adding to it two times v. Okay, where is... Uh, that going to get us? Well, here's the vector v. So we're taking u and we're adding 2 times v. And I'm going to do it on this diagram, even though I might mess up the question now. All right, so there's v, there's u. If I take u and I add 2 times v, I've got to add, going in this direction, not just v, but 2 times v. So I'd probably end up somewhere there. So the vector u plus 2v would be the vector from here all the way up to there. And now, if we subtract 3 times w, well, w was here. And we're subtracting three of those, so we have to go in this direction, but backwards. So 1, 
two, three. And you can see that we'd end up uh, pretty close to what the answer is supposed to be. So there's a solution for the first problem. Now let's have a look at the second one. And uh, I'm just going to write down the, the combination. U plus 2V minus 3W. Now in this case, we are talking about vectors with three components. So we're really working in three-dimensional space. So U is the vector 2, 3, 3. V is the vector 7, 6, minus 1. And we're supposed to subtract 3 times w, which is 0, 0, 2. And again, the arithmetic is pretty straightforward because we're just doing everything component-wise. 2 plus 14 minus 3 times 0 is 0 is altogether 16. 3 plus 12 minus 0 is 15. And 3 minus 2 minus 6 is 3 minus 2 is 1, minus 6 is uh, minus 5. So there would be the answer for part 2. And let's have a look at uh, part 5. We've got u plus 2v minus 3w. Well, now the three vectors are expressed in terms of i, j, and k. And let me remind you that that's what's happening in three-dimensional space. Let me draw a picture of that. Okay. So here's a picture of three-dimensional space, which is very important in linear algebra. And it's reasonably useful to be comfortable in drawing diagrams, reasonably accurate diagrams. They don't have to be perfect, but reasonably accurate that represent things in three-dimensional space. So the standard way of thinking about that is to have an x-axis coming out, sort of at us like this, and thinking of the y and the z-axis as being in the plane of the board. All right. And we could uh, lay out some scale, one, two, maybe minus one. Similarly in the y direction, similarly in the z direction. Okay, now what are these vectors i, j, and k? They are just the standard unit vectors in the three directions of the axes. So the first one is i. There it is right there. It's the vector, which is sometimes written 1, 0, 0 in terms of components. 1 in the x direction, 0 in the y and z direction. Then over here is the j vector sometimes written 0, 1, 0. Just has a single uh, unit in the y direction. And k is this vector in the z direction with component 0, 0, 1. And I generally will not write little arrows above i, j, and k because we sort of understand that they are the usual basis vectors. And I maybe should mention that later on in the course, sometimes there's an alternate notation. Sometimes we refer to that as E1 and E2 and E3 in terms of standard basis vectors. The I, J, and K notation is particularly um, used by engineers and physicists. Okay, so we're asked to compute this combination and we're told what U, V, and W are in terms of I, J, and K. So U is going to be 2I plus 3J minus 2K plus 2 times V, we are told, is I minus 2J plus K. And down here, a minus 3W, which is minus I plus J minus K. All right. So can we put that all together? That's just a question of looking at the three components again separately, multiples of i together, the multiples of j together, the multiples of k together. So how many i's do we have all together? There's two i here, looks like there's two i here, and a total of plus three i there, or a total of seven i. 
And how many j's? There's three j's here. Minus 4j there. Minus 3j there. So 3 minus 7 altogether is minus 4. Looks like minus 4j. And how many k's? Minus 2k here. Plus 2k here. And altogether plus 3k there. So the minus 2k and the plus 2k cancel. And we're just left with plus 3k. So we've gotten our answers. The answer to the first one was that. The answer to the second one was this. And the fifth part has this one. And I'll leave parts three and four to you.